Life science is the scientific study of living things, from a molecular level to the interaction with one another and their environments. And therefore, life science has been divided into four knowledge strands. Starting with the life at the molecular, cellular and tissue level, then life processes in plants and animals, diversity, change and continuity, and ending in environmental studies. Now, of course, environmental studies is taught and assessed in grade 11. The life sciences curriculum is full of content, however it contains essential skills that need to be taught in a practical way. And this needs to be done within the time allocation of four hours per week. Now the life sciences curriculum has three specific aims. The first is theory. The learners need to understand the content knowledge of the subject. This needs to link to the practical aspect where they have to do experiments and hands-on investigations. And of course, both of these need to link to the application so that they understand the relevance of life sciences in everyday life, the importance of scientific discoveries and the relationship between indigenous knowledge and science. Now, if we have a look at some of the skills that we need to develop in life sciences and that the learner must be able to do, it's really important to make sure that we put these into every single opportunity that we have in class, in our teaching and in our assessment to develop these skills. Now the first is the learner has to be able to access information, identify key ideas and be able to recall and memorize information. Once they've been able to do that or once they're able to do that they need to be able to explain content and build a conceptual framework and select and organize this knowledge. They need to show understanding by being able to summarize their work using mind maps and charts, distinguish different patterns and trends and be able to apply their knowledge to different contexts. They also need to share and use their knowledge in a new way, so they're able to then share their own interpretation of how they've understood this knowledge. They need to be able to critically analyze data and specifically analyze scientific information. They must also be able to identify relationships, connections, particularly between existing knowledge and ideas, and therefore being able to find solutions to problems. But most importantly, we want our learners to be able to think critically and creatively, to form their own opinions and own justifications and draw their own conclusions. As a teacher in life sciences, we need to be aware that if we are teaching in an enthusiastic way and develop interest in the learners, they're going to love the subject and therefore they're going to perform better in their final exam.